Hey guys, Tarek Maryface here. I'm about to go into an exam, and the worst thing you can do is study before an exam, so thought I'd make a small tutorial beforehand. Um, just a quick thing, I'd like to quickly talk about heading versus track, and then do another wind question. And this time, instead of being given track, we'll be given heading, and from that we have to calculate the track and ground speed. And it's easier than the previous method because it's a lot quicker. So, let's get started. First, difference between track and heading. For those who don't know this, let's take a point mass. Alright? And it's going to travel in a certain direction. Like this. Right? It is now traveling in this direction. Well, let's say this direction is... Let's say we've got true north here. And therefore, this will be about 0, 4, 5 degrees. This is the true track. However, the plane might not actually be pointed in that direction. It could be pointed in that direction. It could be pointed at, let's say, 0, 9, 0 degrees, right? Now, if it's pointed at 0, 9, 0 degrees, that will be its actual heading. So this is the true track, and this will be the true heading. And that's the difference. And what you'll find is that this angle right here, this angle is what we call the drift. Bam. So when we're calculating drift, this is actually the angle we're calculating. Now obviously you're going to need some pretty strong winds to have a 45 degree track um, drift. But it's just to have an example. Okay, so now that we know this, let's go on to an actual question. Let's say we are given, oops, wrong page. Let's go around. We are given this information. The true heading that we're flying is 0, 090 0 degrees true. The wind is 190 degrees 25 knots. The task is 100 knots and we want to find the track and the ground speed. Now if you watched the previous video on this kind of stuff it was uh, we were given track instead of heading. That's the only difference, right? And it changes the question just slightly. Uh, first things first as well. Remember that unless it's an ATIS information, so um, ATIS, unless it is ATIS, winds are always given uh, with true, uh, coming from a true bearing. So this is 190 true, always. So let's get our handy CRP. It's 100 knots, so we go on the low side. Let's just, yep, there you go, low side. And. We are going to get the center dot just like before on the 100 knots. Bam, right there, 100 knots. Okay, next step, like before, wind velocity, 190 degrees. 190 degrees right there. So we've done step one, 100 knots. Step two, put the wind bearing direction, 190 degrees. Second of all, I'm going to show you something new. This is a non-permanent marker and they are fantastic for the CRP. They keep it clean and they're easy to rub off. So, back to the question. 100 knots, 190, 25 knots. Again, as before, we go under 10 knots, 20 knots, 22, 24, 25. There you go. 25 knots with a very wobbly cross, but that's okay. And we're going to spin it. To a heading of zero nine zero degrees. Spin, 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 spin. Bam. Okay. First thing, we already have our ground speed. Seriously, we already have our ground speed. Our ground speed is whatever the dot says, which is 102, 104, 106, about 107 knots if you look there. 107 knots. So we have a ground speed. So let's get the right pen. Is one zero seven knots and if you think about it it sounds right because uh, if you're flying in this direction and the wind is coming from here you can have a slight uh, drift and a bit of a a bit of a tailwind a very small amount of tailwind but it's going to be there so you're going to be going a bit faster than your true airspeed okay now all we gotta do is the tricky part, <laughs> which is instead of rotating 
towards the cross. We're now going to rotate away from the cross. Um, oh god, sorry. <laughs> um, and just rotate towards the cross. Oh, uh, sorry. What was um thirteen? Thirteen. There you go. So you confirm by putting zero nine zero on thirteen, and you can calculate it. You know, zero nine zero minus thirteen is seventy seven. And you look again, and it says twelve. So we move back one. Eight eight, and you confirm. Still on twelve, and there you go. That's our track. Zero seven eight. Zero seven eight degrees. True. That is our true track okay now if you're really not sure about this easy you're gonna uh, rotate here just put in zero nine zero and pretend your planes here this is basically if you feel confused in the exam this is a great thing to do put the top of the pen towards the the heading and then put take a finger or a second pencil um, and find the wind speed. Wind speed is 190. So then you just align it. And if you look, you've got a small angle. And the wind's going to be pushing the pen that way. So it's actually about right, you know, because it's pushing towards the negative side. So it, it, this is just like a small visual confirmation that you calculated the wrong way. You spanned the, the CRP the right way. Kind of easy. And you know? it's just, you shouldn't, you shouldn't really need to do this. And see, as you see, the permanent marker goes away quite easily. It's gone. You really should need to to do the whole pencil thing. But it's, if you ever get confused, it's it's a good thing to do. It's a good way to verify that you, your answer makes sense. Okay, well that was it. I'm Tarek Maryface. If you enjoyed this video, just uh, please subscribe and watch my other videos. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, don't forget that if you have any questions, you can comment. You can send me a message. You can video response. Whatever you want. Just, just give me the heads up and I'll put up a tutorial for it. Um, that's it, really. Uh, okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.